friends. So it's been a while since I've worked on the crawler. I actually haven't been making a lot of videos over the summer. So anyway, I'm going to work on the camera crawler. It had a bad run under house. It, it got flipped over. This camera mount did not work so well. Um, in fact, that's what's left of it. It was mounted here. And um, yeah, it's actually just going to go and recycle. So let me go through the issues and the solutions. So one of the problems is managing center of gravity. And there's just no way to put it. The crawler is top heavy. Um, I guess Capra Axial had something. So anyway, I found these wheels that weigh um, a couple pounds, like close to probably three pounds. And rather than try to recycle those tires, I just bought some more tires. So that's going to be my project this evening is putting the tires together. And I've been putting it off because it really does make my hands hurt. And um, I, I can't imagine, why, why would anybody even remotely care if your radio control car has 35 stupid little screws on the wheels? It's just stupid. I just want the wheel to stay on the radio control car. I couldn't care less if it looks like a Chevy or not. It didn't actually. So anyway, as with most of my videos, I will put links in. Um, these have some kind of silly foam inside them. I don't know what it's supposed to do. I don't really care. Um, I'm not building this as a toy, and I'm not building this to look cool. I'm building it to work. Or as uh, RuPaul would say, you better work. So, anyway. None of this stuff was terribly expensive. So we've got these really nice, and basically what we've got here is a steel collar. And that's what adds weight to these. So I'm going to go ahead and open both sets. So you guys can see what I'm doing. And they do kind of look like some expensive rims. Um, yeah, I just don't know why anybody would want to go to the trouble to put so many stupid screws on their wheels. It, it's just a pain in the ass. Aside from being hard to see, oh, that's too big. That's two and a half millimeter, two millimeter. I bet that's too big. I bet these are one and a half. Two and a half to two. One and a half. really don't know what those screws are for. Let's take the back ones out and see if we can figure this out. So, I think this, these are decorative. Oh, well, maybe they hold this little cap in, but I, I just 
to, like, to me, this is junk. I mean, it weighs a couple grams. Alright, let's see if we can figure out how to get this to work right. Yeah, this is going to be a pain in the butt. So the problem we had last time is that these are supposed to be tires that grip the bead. And last time, I couldn't get them to grip the bead. So this time, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Again, I just think this is an absolutely asinine thing to do on a model where you just don't need the added complexity. should definitely do the job in terms of grabbing it. And I had some traction problems because it wasn't grabbing. lock on these so let me stop and do that because all this Chinese stuff this the hardware is just not that high quality China's busy making a buck they don't give a fuck so you always got to use thread lock to make sure it doesn't come apart That seems reasonably secure. So at the risk of inviting aggravation, I'm going to dump all the screws out on the desk. putting this off for a while because this is a pain in the butt and I can't really use a power tool on it because none of this stuff is that well done to begin with. So I think that's good right there. It's acting like a tire. 
and it seems to have some grip. So we'll just set it there. Sweep all this over here. Yeah, so I guess these are just to retain the hubcaps. This is stupid. I'm sure, it will prove me wrong later. But if I can figure out a way not to use it, yeah, I'm not going to. All right, so there's two, three, four. And six. And then a whole bunch of stupid little parts that I don't know what they're for. And I'm sure that some of you will comment and tell me I'm doing this wrong, that's great, please please share your expertise, because I'm going to tell you, I don't have a clue what I'm doing, I'm just kind of putting this together in a way that seems to make sense. what seems to make sense to me is to pinch the tire on the steel ring. I just wish the steel ring was bigger. So I think we're ready to put the second one together. Finally got it.
Yeah, something's not right here. the same as this. No, it doesn't. See, this one looks right. set that off to the side. I don't think that one's right, so... Try something different this time. I'm gonna slip this in. That's not gonna work without the it's 
So part of the challenge here is this has got to be mounted right. And I think that is, it has to be completely inside there. This just goes there. force and pressure that this thing has to handle. This is clearly a glutton for punishment method of securing this tire to this wheel. like an absolutely excessive amount of force is being required. Sweep all that out of the way.
Two down, four to go. So I think they're I think they're right. I'm sure this one's not. So let's see if we can fix it. So the problem is it's slightly misaligned. There we go. So what I'm going to do is just start the screws and then I'm going to make sure the tire is not crushed and then I'm going to tighten them all.
what I'd call perfect, but it is what I would call workable. So we got one more of these. So that's in there. All right, and then that's in there. Now it's time for a little magic. Loctite, Harbor Freight's cheapest. The idea is to get two sides that are opposed started. So in this case, it just needs to come over. So that's good. I get that one started. That one started. this. That looks as good as it's going to get. So now we'll tighten all this down.
is 4.44 pounds. Don't mind the junk sitting on the scale. So it's zeroed. We'll come back to that. All right, so it is a seven millimeter, I think that's what it is. Yep, seven millimeter socket. And could use a power tool for this, but it seems silly when there's just not that many. And this obscene piece of shit is going right there. Oh, and I forgot to take out these stupid hubcap things on this one. I'm certain that these are just hubcaps. So I'm going to turn this on its side in order to get that seated. Makes it a little easier to work on. So we'll see if this fits like it's supposed to. Guess we have a little more power if we put battery in. So let's do it. We we'll want to find out if we've got if the wheels are going to fit right or not.
Okay. It didn't look like it was on there right, but apparently it is. Okay, so that's good. Let's take the battery out and move to wheel number two. Hopefully you guys saw some of that. Just doesn't look right in there. But I guess it is. So I think there's an ever so slight mismatch between the castings and the the afterwork at rims. And so um, cranking it down wedges them on there. And that's ultimately what I want. So this is supposed to fit, and I just don't think it quite fits perfectly. Oh, I see what the issue is. is not that. It doesn't clear the um, drop axles, that's the problem.
And that's why it seems stuck. Because it was. So, if you put them on backwards, they do seem to fit. So we're going to try that. That'll hurt my torque. It'll, it'll hurt it really badly. But, this may allow these wheels to work. So that's good. Mm. On the fronts, I don't know where the little washers went, so I'm not going to run them. I don't think they do anything anyway. Alright, so let's go weigh in. No battery. And we went from 4.44 to 5.64, so we added 1.2 pounds to the bottom, which is 25% increase in uh, mass, and that should help center of gravity. Alright, so. That's a big improvement because before um, I had issues. So now what we want to do is see if we can flip it over. Because that was the problem before.
that's a pretty darn good because this was really easy to flip in the past. So let's go ahead and see if we can navigate just some junk in my office and there's always plenty of that. Has too much stuff on it. That's too 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 tall to climb. And it is possible to flip it. And there we are. We're upside down again. And this is the problem we had in the past. So we're not out of the woods yet, but it's a lot harder to flip. And we have a lot better traction control than we used to. So that's it. I mean, that that's changing out the tires. That's that's good for tonight. I've got some more exciting stuff coming with the gimbal. Um, that'll be the next thing that I start to work on, and I have all the parts for it. So I'll do another video on that. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you're having fun, and if you're building one of these, check out the other videos in the series.